Vote with your wallet. This is the answer we often hear. Through their food choices, consumers send signals to companies, and companies, attentive cons to consumer expectations, respond to their demand. Except that this idea of the responsible consumer is problematic. Of course, education and uh, awareness of consumers is important, but it's not enough. They have a lot of information and a lot of products they can choose, but there is a lot of confusion for consumers, and it's very difficult for them to do the right choice between uh, have a better health, a better nutrition, a better environment, a better equity. But if you want to change behavior, it's not enough to try to convince individuals. We have to make it easier for them to make the right choices. If you compare what people choose with their wallet and what they really want for themselves and their children, it's different. In the first case, they only react to an offer. In the second case, they can imagine a new future and a new food system. For example, there are in different countries food corps where the members of the cooperative decide what they want to find in the supermarket. And there, there are very interesting discussions. Today, all the decisions that are made for by the governments are under the influence of big companies and, and great lobbying. So it means that we must rebuild a governance where consumers, where citizens, where inhabitants have the possibility to participate and to exp express what they want for the future of their food. These kind of experiences show that we can build food democracy at the local level and then to use these proposals to organize a new kind of food policy.